The arts are alive and well in Union City, and we're visiting two unique venues today. The first is the Arts Depot, the last remaining of five railroad buildings in Union City, and the inspiration for the formation of the Union City Preservation Society. The depot was built in 1913, when Union City became a famous railroad center, boasting five intersecting tracks which allowed trains to travel in any direction. Betsy Jeffries spearheaded the restoration project. The last passenger train stopped here in the mid-50s and uh, the depot sat vacant for all that time and finally the city purchased it. The Art Association of Randolph County decided we needed a permanent home. We restored it from 1980 to 83 and it's free and clear and we own it. Today, the depot serves as the focal point for the Art Association of Randolph County, with rotating shows year-round, like this one by Richmond, Indiana-based pastel artist Sally Hughes. I've noticed that people in small communities are very supportive of the art artists and they enjoy seeing what just homegrown people can do. Another Hoosier artist, Carol Strock Wasson, is a Union City native. She started drawing in high school, and now paints on plein air, on location, in oils and pastels. Carol has won numerous awards and was admitted into the Hoosier Salon in 1991. It is a wonderful place to gather people together, to show your work, to have a sense of community with arts. The Arts Depot makes good use of their space both on and off the walls. It's open year-round and hosts other community events such as workshops, performance art, and the weekly farmer's market on Saturdays from June through October. The Arts Depot is open Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 4, and Saturdays by appointment. Check their website at artsdepot.org for specific dates and times of events. A most recent attraction for Union City is the Pipes, a renovated fire station which houses two antique pipe organs and provides concerts and social gatherings. The installation of the 1926 Page Theater organ has been made possible by Uniflex, an electronic relay systems company. These amazing facilities are fine examples of the community working together to make good things happen. Check out unioncitynow.com for more information. For Saver Indiana, I'm Kevin Gardner.